To start working with linear dimensions, you have to make sure that your building footprint has been drawn and correctly constrained. That way, as you start to make changes dimensionally on this building footprint, you're going to see all the various components of the building react accordingly. So for the purposes of this example, I assume that you already have some geometry you can use that will be properly constrained. Now what we see is a couple of linear dimensions have been placed, and these dimensions offer the following benefit. You can simply double click on them and start editing the building footprint by overriding these dimensions. So parametrically, this dimension modifies this entity, and then all those changes flow through the model via all the constraints that are already in place. So it's pretty straightforward to use. Now, in order to place these, again, pretty straightforward, you just pick the dimensioning tool up here. Now, what you have to do is make sure that the dimensions you drop in are constrained to objects. Now, this is not like using an object snap. Please notice I'm not saying the intersection of these two lines. I'm saying near the endpoint of this one and near the endpoint of this one. And now I can simply pull this out here and place the dimension. The default value will be put in place. You could obviously override that with any value of your choosing. So it's pretty straightforward to just go around the model and start dropping in the particular dimensions that you'd like. If you wanted to use a linear dimensioning tool that would flow between two objects, let's say like two column lines, you would do that like this. And finally, just to show that they really do work pretty similarly to AutoCAD dimensions, what we'll do is pick on this column over here and this column here, and we'll see that depending on which way we pull the cursor, we'll either get a vertical or a horizontal result. So the principal difference between these and AutoCAD dimensions is that you're always placing these dimensions onto objects, and the constraint is being placed on particular geometric points within that object. You're not using object snaps to nail these down. Once they're in here, it's very straightforward to just simply double click your linear dimension, override it with some value that makes sense for your design, and then watch all the changes flow through the geometry. So it's very straightforward linear parametric dimensioning.